Well, let, let me put the plane back in the fin. We see that it pressed group and his head went flying off. Watch, go like this. Group. Boing. Where's his head gone? The background. The background is clip art. I, I hands up, man. I use clip art all the time. Uh, it has to be done. You know, I have to get this project done. This is. I know this project isn't going to be a massive commercial success compared to the Japanese apps and things that I make. Uh, the demand for Arabic is always being low, but this, once the idea hit me, it was like, can I make a mnemonic system sort of based on Battle Beasts? Remember them? Battle Beasts. I absolutely loved these back in the 80s. Here they are. Oh, yeah. Still, still do. Battle Beasts for learning Arabic. So, yeah. So the backgrounds are all clip art, but mostly clip art. And I regret nothing. You have to do it. You have to. People that reinvent the wheel. I'm sure there's loads of people who reinvent the wheel and they get things done. But I, I know that this project is a labour of love. I'm mostly just interested in the characters. Let's fire up After Effects and start animating. So once all of this is, all the characters are, are rigged, it's ready to launch. The app was launched about three or four months ago. It's going okay. Well, it's going good, but the focus is on Japanese and Korean, mostly Japanese, Korean, and nobody seems to be interested in the Arabic aspect. But I am, and it definitely works, you know. Well, you can see here, you can see in this, this fellow here, that his big smile and his tree, the tree dots over his eye and his tree fingers here, and the little, again, it's repeated here, some motifs. Uh, so, let's remove these. So you can see in the shape of his face, his three eyes, his little cuckoo clock belt. And where else? Somewhere else. I can't remember. Yeah, just there and there. So the reveal is this. So that is the sound for Tha. And this character's name is Tha Tha Tuti. Oh, forget that. Uh, he's sort he's sort of rigged. Uh, well, this is as basic as the rigging's gonna get. Just, 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 just. Look at that. That's cool. That's this that's the most simple way to make a simple animation. Do you know that you can hide the hide selection while dragging? So that's actually a good way to make an animation. So I'm sc I'm screen recording this right now. So let's plop a background in there like that. Take this. And when that's selected, when hide, hide selection bounds is on, you can see that where we, oh, wait a minute, I'm, you can see in his elbow there's a bit of a, a little thing spinning around there. But you, you can make an animation like that, you know. There we go. So yeah, Battle Beasts, Battle Beasts and of course Transformers. So in Arabic there's two different groups, there's the sun and the moon sounds. So I've split them up into goodies and baddies. And, you remember in Transformers? De -de 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 -de. Meme mode. Meme. Meme mode. So you can see here in, in Meme mode that he makes an M sound, obviously. Uh, wait for the transition. And the main shape there hangs below the line. So you can imagine that this is the line of writing and his tail drapes over the end. And you can see in his, in his little bun there, there's another shape. And right there. So an Arabic letter mostly will change. Well, most of them will change depending on where they appear in a word. There you go. So when they connect in the middle, uh, that's what it looks like. And that's it. That's it. That's it. Basically, uh, taking me a long time to make it, but again, I, I enjoy. And as they say, it's not a waste of time if you enjoy what you're doing. And I have, enjoy, I have enjoyed making this, you know. Other stuff that I make, I'm not wacky about, but this is something I'm really into, you know, because it's, look at that. De -de 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 -de. So, I'm going to do, the next one on the list is Ta. So we take, we'll take him, call him uh, Ta English. Now, you know, I am a notorious slob for not naming my layers, etc. But the reason that we're copying it is because uh, the structure. 
Now the next file we're importing in is actually a goodie. So we know that that has to be that has to change. Uh, and what I should do actually is make that red. So you can right click on it. Maybe you can't. You can right click on the how do you change the layer? There you go. Okay, so I know something has to be changed on that one. Okay, so let's just take this one and uh, take them like that copy them and then paste them into the artboard view aha different size that's strange wait a minute that that shouldn't that shouldn't be doing that this i've always had this problem with affinity that it's, there's, there's inconsistencies between pasting documents of the same size so let's try that again this artboard is, you can see it down here, it is 1920 by 1080 pics, which is the 16 to 9 format of a video. You move it in like that, you can see it changes. Uh, if you go into this one, aha, Bobby strikes again, 1920 points, you see that, PT. So it's me being a complete fool again, that's why there's a big discrepancy. Well, let me put the blame back on Affinity. You see that? He pressed group and his head went flying off. Watch. We go like this. Group. Boing. Where's his head gone? Somewhere over there. So right back at you. Yeah, look. His head has gone off to the planet. His head has disappeared all the way over there. That's, that's always been a problem. But the way to get around it is control. What you can do here. And a cut and a paste, do it again, then group, and now we have them again. It's something to do with the way that the layers uh, are arranged. Um let me see if I scale this up. Do we have any problems with outlines? Yeah, I see his hand his hand is filling in there. So that yeah this is this is always this is always an issue uh, so you can see scale with object so if you were to say scale with object on the whole the whole group you would imagine that everything will scale but you can see as we shrink it down uh, there's an outline on his on his fingers there that's getting too big uh, for example, let me show you that again on the actual source. Yeah, so yesterday I had I had to manually go in and get every one of these and select that again. And also select all, then hit that again. It's a pain. Right. Um let's go undo a few times. So this is this is the real artwork here. This is this is finished. Uh I might be inclined just to rasterize them and Plop them in this way. Yeah, you can see there's a few a few different changes. I took I took this thing out and put his belt in. It's not good enough. I have to go back. Uh, copy. I'll drag him off. Scale him up. Yeah, you can see his finger his fingers are changing there. See them there? It's these. Aha! I found them. Okay, go back down. Man, again, this is an experiment making this video. Uh, I don't even know how how I would describe this. Just goofing around, I suppose. There we go. Got it. So what you need to do. See, it's not scaled an object. Got them all there. Bloop. Now, a great way. Another way around that would be to go like this. Select same and just select one select same um select same is it a stroke or a fill so it's a stroke color there you go so you can see on his beard there see that not scaled let's mess around here so you can see we pull this down bring it up Nice. She'd like it around there. 
you know i should i should really spend more time fixing the artwork because you can see a billion things that could be improved but i just want to launch launch and learn and then you can refine i'm always getting into fights with dogs don't carry a knife that's number one it all well i do actually carry it oh man look i do actually carry a knife but uh, 